Welcome back to America's Now. In 1995, he became a British light middleweight boxing champion. Years later, he created Fight for Peace. It's an international nonprofit group which combines boxing and martial arts with education and personal development meant to increase the potential of young people living in low-income communities. This week's Game Changer is someone who has made it his mission to fight crime and violence with sports. We take you to Rio de Janeiro to meet Luke Doudney. My name is Luke Dowden. Um, I'm the founder and director of Fight for Peace. I'm 41 years of age. I've been in Brazil for almost 20 years, uh, but I was born in London uh, a long time. There's a good side to winning those awards, recognition, uh, more support, funding to grow the organisation, to help more young people. But the other side of that is, is the real work, you know, is in there in that community dealing with difficult situations. We've lost a lot of kids. You know, we've lost a lot of kids I've known very well who've been murdered. And, and that's just a, you know, a tip of the iceberg of what people that live in those communities have to put, put up with every day. So. I didn't grow up in uh, a favela. I grew up in a very middle-class, privileged family in London. Not privileged in terms of financially, we weren't wealthy, but we certainly were uh, very poor. I won a scholarship to a very elite school in London called St. Paul's. I didn't really fit in very well, so I was kind of called working class boy was my nickname. Uh, I was a bit of a delinquent. And kind of boxing really got me on the right track. I live, that I work, is very similar to the kind of the notion of what I learned when I was boxing, when I was fighting, which is that you know you have an objective and you have to be 100%, 110% dedicated on on achieving that. Fight for Peace was it was minuscule. It was 10 young people at the beginning. Last year we worked directly with over two and a half thousand young people, and we have around 40,000 young people on projects around the world that we're in partnership with and that we're teaching our methodology to and supporting in more than 22 different countries. Over time we realised that in order to really help young people who had, a, had to face a lot of difficulties in their lives in a more holistic and integrated format, that it couldn't just be boxing and martial arts and a, some youth support, it had to be a, a bigger package. So we now run what we call the five pillars.
Now, I get a real buzz out of seeing a young person be all they can be themselves. They've done it for themselves. All we've done is, is open a door and help them through that door. They've done the rest, they've done the hard work. And that's what drives me, what, what, give, what keeps me dogmatic in terms of my principles, in terms of never giving in, never quitting, is watching their success. What these sports do, whether it's jiu-jitsu, judo, taekwondo, boxing, wrestling, etc., is they teach you about yourself, they teach you about self-control, they teach you about discipline, they teach you about respect, um, and they teach you about self-awareness. And understanding that you will only be successful in that sport if you put the hard work in and you trade, and that's life. A couple of years ago, I raised uh, equity investment from private investors in the UK um, and Europe. Um, and I founded Luta, which is the world's first social sportswear company. Luta means to fight, to struggle, to never give in. And it comes from Luta Pela Paz, which means fight for peace in Portuguese. Those investors have agreed that they'll split their return 50-50 with the charity. So. Hopefully I'll, I'll make some of those investors wealthy and at the same time we'll put in the same amount of money to help kids around the world. It doesn't matter whether you're trying to win a championship belt or you're trying to get a job. If you do not prepare for those situations, you won't be successful. So everything we learn in the ring and everything we learn on the tatami, we work with young people to take those lessons over into life. Ultimately, fight for peace is a very human story. We believe, you know, in the potential of every person um, and looking forward to what people can kind of become. It's about an attitude in terms of saying, you know, being more pluralistic and, and working with other people and trying to do your bit, even if that's the smallest thing. Because at the end of the day, society is only going to be a healthy place to live, a good place to live if everyone's involved. Luke Downey also started a sports performance clothing brand called Luta. It shares 50% of its profits to help low-income kids in Rio. We'd love to hear of people inspiring positivity in your community. So if you know someone who's helping change the world, drop us a line at an at cctv-america.com. Or you could send us a tweet at cctv underscore America. And tell us about a game changer you'd like to see on our show. Coming up. A culture of beauty that poses a health risk. Venezuelan women like having big breasts and butts. They don't seem to care about consequences or how harmful this kind of treatment can be. America's next.